only reason it's being stubborn is because I'm videoing it. That last one just doesn't want to come off. I can feel the heat coming off that, so I know the soldering iron is working. Alright, so we bent that one a little bit, but that's no big deal. We're just taking straighten it back up. And there's number two. Now, I'll go ahead and do the rest of these off camera, save my battery, and when I get done taking these out, we will start um, doing some testing to see what's what, and go from there. Alright, we've got all these out, and they're all the same size as the one I have that you can see through and I wrote down what each one of these are um, you've got ground which is this one which I already knew I basically knew what they were I just went ahead and wrote them down uh, this one's right and this one's left um, this one here and this one is switched so this is right so um, it's getting a little complicated and I didn't want it to get complicated so we're going to make it simple what we're going to do is we're going to run the right and the left to the positive side of this mic and we're going to take this mic clear out and uh, then we're going to take and run a ground from the ground to the negative, which is negative, to the negative side of where the speaker goes. So this camera will not work or have sound unless you have an external mic, which ain't a big deal. I've got plenty of cameras around here. It ain't going nowhere, so... If it does, it'd probably go end up in the trash. But um, this is just an experiment, and, and we're going to see how this works out. So the first, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that this thing, this mic on the board, is marked negative and positive. Uh, I don't think it really matters which way they go. Um, I'm almost certain it doesn't matter on a mic, but um, if it doesn't work, then we'll just have to take it back apart and reverse it. So um, right now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this mic out of here. So we'll get my magnifying glass. You had to go out to the shop and get my magnifying glass I had for my bandsaw, which I never used anyway. So. So now we're going to take and uh, take this out. See if we can straighten that up a little bit. We have to, we have to desolder it first. Oh, and I went and unplugged my daggone thing. Oh, we 
gonna have to wait until this thing uh, heats back up. All right, now we've got the mic out. It is marked positive and negative. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this really thin wire, and I wish I had thinner wire, but um, I'm gonna use the pink as red and the blue as black. So black is gonna be negative, pink is gonna be positive. So let's see if this will fit down in the hole. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come in behind here and we're going to trim that excess off. We don't need all that. And then when we get the soldering part done, then we'll come in and trim the, the rest of it off. We just want a little bit sticking out. So. Now we're going to take and put a dab of solder and hope it doesn't hit the other side. So I've got the tiniest solder I can find. And this is silver, silver bearing solder, Archer. So Go ahead and um, get this warm. I think we've got got it pretty much where we want it. All right, now we've got our wires. So now what we're going to do, since this is uh, mono and not stereo mic, it leaves us a little bit of a challenge. Um, what we've got to do now is I think what I'm going to do is jumper the wire from the right and the left positive and jumper them together. And that way when it's plugged up you're going to get sound out of both speakers and then the ground will go to the ground. Uh, but in the meantime, remember, I don't know if I showed that part, um, this thing here is threaded into this tube on this uh, desolderer, and um, this is just plastic, and this is aluminum, and the threads weren't all that great to begin with. Anytime you got 
real fine tiny threads on plastic they don't last very long and every time I would push that down and then do that this whole top would pop off the spring would pop it off so what I done I took a drill bit a little tiny one and took some laptop screws that came out inside of a laptop and drilled those and self-threaded these laptop screws one on each side and then I marked it two arrows on one on this side and one on this side so that anytime I need to take this apart to clean it out which I did need to clean out I've never cleaned it out this is the first time and I've had this thing for probably uh, 20 years and um, uh, then that way I can just screw this off take it apart take the spring out of it clean all the solder out of it and basically it's just dusted with solder inside of this from and I've had this I've used it a lot too and it was just dusted really good it wasn't packed or dirty it was just uh, lightly coated with little dustings of uh, solder right here uh, so you know that was all it was, was just that little bit of solder and I cleaned it out put it back together and works like a champ so the next thing we're going to be doing is um, mounting this into this slot right here and we're going to make it so that it's level with this other one right here and then when we go to put our face plate on it we're just going to take a little bit of grease or anything for that matter um, you can put on there and push that up against it and it'll give you a print of where you need to drill over here so that when you put that on it will line right up and it'll look exactly like it was it, it belonged there uh, it came like that factory all right so now we got to hook our wires up to the jack so what I've done is these jacks here are exactly the same as the one that I'm putting in there and I'll show you what what we got going on here uh, find something here to point at what we've got here is the jack all right this one here is negative the front one is always negative that goes up in behind and connects to your negative post this one here is right and this one here is left we don't need this one we don't need this one the only three we need is this one this one and this one so common ground right speaker left speaker common ground takes care of both speakers so what I'm doing now is I'm taking the pink wire which we're going to call red because I didn't have red and we're going to hook it to this one and the left the right and the left that way when it goes in it will go out it will go into both speakers so that when I'm doing videos you don't have one speaker so that's what we're doing now
Alright, now before we go and mount the plug to here, I wanted to kind of go over something real quick. Um, there's probably somebody out there wondering, well, okay, how did you find out what goes to where? I've never seen the inside of one of these except for this one right here, but you know, not all of them are identical. Um, basically what I did was I got a stereo jack that has the two RCA jacks on the back side of it, on the other side of it, and it's got the eighth inch um, connector for stereo. So basically all I do is plug it up and if you want to know which one is right and um, the way I know which one is right is red starts with an R, right starts with an R. So right is red. Left is always the opposite. So um, that's how I remember it. So basically what I do is I grab my trusty fluke and I'll turn it to buzz and then I will take and touch Remember, on your RCA plug, the center one is always your positive, and the outer edge is your negative. So, I'll go and touch the center of the right, and then I will go and touch each one of these until I hear a buzz. Once I hear a buzz, like that right there, that means that is the one that is for right. Same thing with the left. See? It don't hit on none of them except for that one. Now, to find my ground, I just touch the outside of it, which both of these share the same ground, and that's the very first one. That one I always know anyway. The one closest to the front of the plug is usually your ground. So, um, that's how I tested it to make sure that you know I had them in the right place so now what I've gotten is three different things here I've got uh, fix all supposed to be super glue adhesive I, I don't trust it because first of all when you go to plug in your 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 jack to your plug, you're going to be pushing in on it, and it's going to be pressure on it. So we need something that's going to hold it really tight, so it doesn't push in. Because I don't want to take this thing back apart and have to refix something that wasn't fixed right to begin with. All right, I've also got this five-minute gel epoxy. Now I've I believe I used this one other time and it didn't hold um, but we're going to give this a shot but to make sure that uh, this thing is uh, going to stay in place I also got ultra black advanced formula minimum oil or maximum oil resistant gasket maker you buy this at any auto parts store it's very good stuff in fact um, i had a problem with my gps in my on my dash and every time i would leave my vehicle and go back to my vehicle my gps suction cup always came off and was laying in the floor or something and i was scared it was going to break my gps by hitting my shifter or something like that on the way down. So I took this and smeared a real thin coat of this on the, the rubber pad and then stuck it down. It's never came off again and uh, I use this for everything. I use this for plumbing. I use this for my vehicles. In fact, I never can keep this in stock. Uh, this is this is the this is the shit for me. So what we're gonna do 
is once we have epoxied this to the board in place where it should be, once we epoxy it and it's dried, then we'll go ahead and put it together and make sure that our lines are, are wires are in line with each other where they belong and they're not hitting nothing and um, once we've got it to where it's close then I'll take a little bit of this and put it on something maybe a toothpick or something whatever I can find and I'll put a big enough glob on the other side of this opposite side of the motherboard to where when I push this panel back on it it will hit this back side and once it dries it will lock it in place even if the glue even if this glue doesn't work then this will work so we have double penetration here and I wish I hadn't have let that come out of there like that I think I remember how it went back in there. Yeah, okay. Alright, so that's our plan. back where it was and we're going to use this clamp and hold that down and let's see if we can use this and it looks pretty straight so now all we do is just wait for that to dry. All right. Now that we have this glued and glued into place, we want to try to uh, we want to try to route these wires so that they don't get caught in in anything and pinch them to where they short out together. So. What we're doing is just running this wire right over to the mic, and then we got to put this together. But before we put it together, we got to make sure that these wires don't get pinched. So, um, let's see here. We got two little plugs there that needs to go. The wire needs to go underneath that plug. And we got to be careful we don't break the wire on the other part. And uh, we're just going to push them wires down in underneath that and make them so that they're not on top of each other. And and then get it to where the plug is plugging up. So you got the plug for the uh, for the uh, zoom and then you got to plug over here for the lens so we're going to plug the lens in and then we're going to plug that in and if you notice it's a little hard to go in there so that means that this wire is being pinched so you want to make sure that that wire is not being pinched and If it's pinched, if it doesn't move freely, like it is right now, it's moving freely. It's not pinched. And we've got our plug in place. And um, now what we want to do, we have probably about the width of the tip of that screwdriver to go before this plate hits the top side of this 
plug that we put in. So what we're going to do, we're going to try to put, bring that out just a little bit. And we're going to take a little bit of this black gasket maker. And hope it's not dried up on me. Tell you, you don't use these quick, man. They, they'll dry up on you. And they will make a mess. Alright, so we're going to take this screwdriver. And we're going to put a glob about like that on the screwdriver. That may be in too much, but we'll find out. And then we're going to go in behind here, spread that apart, and we're just going to put a little bit on top of that. And then, my wires moved on me or something. Alright, so now we've got that squished. Now when that dries, this plug, even if this uh, two-part epoxy that I used doesn't get hard enough, and um, if I can find that piece that I mixed that on, it's, it's pretty hard, so it may be okay. Now, the, the black mask gasket maker will assure that it's sandwiched in and when you go to push in with your jack and you go to plug it in it doesn't push in and even if it does break one of them breaks the other one's not so i trust that black rtv gasket maker more than i do that epoxy so now we get to figure out how we took this apart now I've rerouted the wires so that they're in, I uh, ran them so that they're in little veins and hollow spots and stuff like that. So um, now it's as simple as putting it back together and hope it works. <laughs> Pretty bad when you got to keep an eye on your camera to make sure it's recording because it done missed part of this. And so now we're putting this back together. Um, and I'm having a hard time remembering where two of these um, two of these screws went. I can't remember where them two big headed ones went. Dang on it. And that part of the video didn't record. So I'm left to do this by memory. So um, And I took and put that on there prematurely, so I need to take that back off. Alright, so now what we need to do is 
Take a little bit of oil and a little bit of oil on the uh, brush. In most cases, this works. And then we're just going to paint with that oil all the way around the tip of that. Then we're going to do our best to line this up so that we don't get it in the wrong place. Because you only got one chance. And then just press a little bit. And there is your center mark. So now we're going to take something here like a drill bit. And we're going to go ahead and drill the center of that. Alright, now... It's 1564. Now we may have to do a little filing, but here's where you got to be really careful not to hurt yourself. So, you know, I'm going to step up a little bit smaller than that before I get any further. Well, I guess I'm going to have to do it by hand. I just don't trust spinning that drill and turning this and breaking it so we're gonna we're gonna do this by hand
All right. Now, it's back up and running. So now we need to test to see if the audio works. So we're going to talk. Well, I need to get set up first. So let's uh, stop this. And um, now I got to find where I put my mic. All right, this is a test, and for some reason I can't hear myself in the uh, microphone. I'm going to have to learn how to use this. Um, so, right now, we've got the audio work, and I do know the audio work because I've already tested it out. I took the uh, card out of the camera, and um, now we're working with, uh, we're on that camera I just fixed. And uh, we're testing it out right now. And I've already taken the, um, the SD card out, put it in my computer, and I just had it laying there and it was pointing towards wood over there. So I just decided to do another test. So now let's see if I'm gonna walk out of here and see see how far this thing works um, so I mean I'll hide all this stuff when I'm actually using it but we'll go ahead and uh, walk away and I'll just count down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so let's go out here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Twenty steps from the back of the house to the front of the house. <laughs> so now let's see how this works out. The only thing I don't like about this camera is zoomed in too close. Uh, I like wide angle, so I've noticed that this thing has one of them screw-in lenses like the GoPro has, uh, like this one here. So um, I ordered one, a replacement 170 uh, uh, degree angle uh, wide lens wide angle lens for I think it was like two dollars and eighty nine cents uh, yeah it's coming from China it'd probably be here next year but um, anyway uh, if that camera lens can be unscrewed like the GoPro then it's a good possibility that I can use this camera and just unscrew that one and screw in the um, wide angle lens and see how that works uh, this may be my go-to camera from now on uh, this one can be uh, recording while you're charging no problems and I can monitor what you're looking at what you can see while I'm video and that way if I need to adjust anything I can just kind of reach up there and turn it and uh, re readjust so I would say that if this video worked out okay and the voice worked out okay, then I guess this is our test and this concludes the um, audio input for a external mic uh, upgrade. Uh, you guys have a good one. Later.